Well, if you thought construction on I-4 was bad, get ready for some more. People living in Seminole County are about to see a bunch of it. That's right. Construction has resumed to get the Wakaiva Parkway project back on track. It comes after the state contractor dropped out midstream. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky breaks down what it means for drivers and everyone living near that area. Adriana. Yes. So the Wakaiva Parkway project, for those of you who don't know, is a 15 mile stretch of road between Mount Dora and Sanford. It's all along State Road 46. Now a major section between Orange Boulevard and right here before I-4 is going to be under major construction starting today. And that means you're going to start seeing a lot more construction trucks, a lot more road detours, and all of it is going to expand that road to create a six-lane highway. But as you can imagine, not everyone's happy about it. Not looking forward to it at all. Many living in nearby Sylvan Lake Reserve and Walden Cove are not happy about all of this construction starting back up. It's going to be a major inconvenience. There are going to be road closures. There's going to be a lot of noise and nobody in the neighborhood is looking forward to it. Richard Vogel has lived out here for 20 years and moved out here for the peace and quiet that the reserve seemed to offer. How did you feel when nothing was happening there? Oh, that was nice. <laughs> it certainly quieted things down a bit, but uh, we knew it was going to start back up again. For about two months this spring, construction out here did come to a halt after Italian contractor Astaldi pulled out of this and three other FDOT construction projects. But now the construction is back on track after Colorado-based SEMA was hired to resume work out here. Work started back up in June, and FDOT says even with the delay, they still see the project finishing on time and will be completed by the end of 2022. It's up to the contractor and that surety company to make sure that they meet that schedule. Mary Brooks is the community outreach specialist with the Wakaiva Parkway project. She says some turn lanes you may have been used to during your drive out here won't be there during the construction, and the construction will be happening both at nighttime and daytime hours. We ask people to, you know, slow down, be very mindful of the construction work zone safety signs, equipment, vehicles moving in and out of traffic. Even though FDOT says the project is still on target to be completed on time, Vogel has his doubts. No possible way. They're dreaming. But others are looking forward to what the project will bring. It could be a, a problem for some neighborhoods, but uh, overall, it is a good thing. Dan Goodman here lives in Heathrow and is a realtor in the area. He sees all of this construction as a minor price to pay for progress. Everyone's excited about the expansion, the growth, easy commuting from one part of town to the other. It's going to open up. Orlando and the Mount Dora connecting one side of town to the other side, making it more convenient. And I will have much more on what this expansion and new construction could mean for real estate out there. And that's coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6.